Hi, this is another Web of Twins demonstration. So I initially planned to hack around this open source vehicle, which is then located in Rennes University, but uh, due to the lockdown, it was not possible. So we had to do something different uh, and adapt uh, to hack something online. And this was possible using Mozilla Hubs. So what you see on the screen is uh, Mozilla Hubs running on a, on a regular desktop, but it can also run in a VR headset. And there are a couple of elements in this virtual world, like a completely added design uh, model of the open source vehicle, a few other elements I use in other demonstration, and there are several users who, who can interact together by uh, chatting or uh, talking or just import a new asset uh, using the GLTF format. So this is a format made for 3D content online. You can decide to add to the world another object which is uh, hosted elsewhere and this is uh, imported in the stream. So the object is, uh, is shared among the different users. So one user can decide to pick at it and uh, position it uh, in a different place and it can get access to it uh, programmatically using Firefox uh, console uh, debugger. You can decide to use a DOM API from the browser to get access to the element. So this is the last GLTF model in the scene uh, array. And uh, I can decide to print its property like the scale because it fits in a unit box. So if I want to increase uh, the size, we can uh, decide to change uh, this uh, scale objects by uh, 15 for instance. So this is, here is the same object which has been increased by 15 and it has been updated in uh, two different uh, clients if there are several users. So user can uh, show a context menu by pressing the a pointer or space key on a, on a desktop and uh, he can move the, the object can be moved uh, frontward on this uh, 3D world. We can also add a new object or even uh, Smarter added like a camera object. Uh, so I'm sharing my webcam and it will create uh, a 3D, uh, 3D rectangle which is showing my uh, frame buffer of my, of my camera. So what you see in real time is my hand uh, and uh, I am scaling uh, this uh, rectangle. So there is not uh, a big delay between my action and uh, what you see on the screen. I can scale a little bit more move um, then move the, the screen above the vehicle so what you see on my on my desk is my my trackball but I have also this uh, Lego toy which is a replica of my open source vehicle with my limited uh, budget and even on it I have onboarded the NXP Freedom K64F board uh, which is um, uh, configured with a NetX operating system, so you need to build a firmware for it using the NetX uh, Key64 port. And I have added uh, some new uh, feature like uh, extra sensor, like uh, which is uh, uh, measuring the the orientation and the acceleration. So it's um, also an NXP sensor. You, there is also a, a simple example where you can uh, play with and once your microcontroller is running you can try to run this uh, um, application. So we are running on NetX uh, 9.1 and some commits above. So my, my code has been merged so if you run the application you see the value updating in real time. But uh, we can do a little bit more than this because we are we want to share those uh, updates to the network. So to do this, uh, we can use uh, pipes like in Unix system. So I need to create a name pipe, then try to run my application and uh, forward the standard output to the pipe. Then I can uh, use it uh, from another client. So it's a multitask application. Uh, let's configure the network because there is a network adapter and I can just make a DHCP request. I will get a new IP assigned to the um, Ethernet adapter. 
and then I can just uh, run a client that will uh, forward the value uh, elsewhere. So there is a couple of uh, other use cases I explain at Notex event. So let's get back to our 3D model. So I have this uh, object moving and uh, updating its uh, position, but it's not updating in a 3D world. So to do this, like I've done before, I can just paste uh, some WebSocket uh, code that will update the position of the 3D object uh, matching the reality. So I'm pasting this code. You can find this in a Git repository and you see the orientation uh, updating. So it's a little bit oscillating because it should be, it would need, need a, a smooth function. But if I'm turning it from right to left or the other, it will be updated in a semi real time. There is no noticeable delay if you look at the camera and the 3D uh, thing. Uh, it's quite um, reactive. So this means that if you can get access to some device or some system, you can uh, control them remotely if you are making me in a lockdown position uh, if you cannot get access to this place because not many people should share the same room or any COVID-19 restriction this can be uh, a technology that can be used for this kind of use case so I've shared some more experiment on this address pearl.org rzr slash web of twins and uh, yeah your feedback will be very valuable to me to push this experiment forward. Thanks a lot.